Exactly. Even, even if it's one sentence, even if... But On the 12th of July, the court was due to hear advocate Malise Latifo's application to challenge the High Court in Pretoria's jurisdiction to hear the Mayua trial. But he failed to file heads of argument for this challenge, prompting what had become the norm, an exchange between himself and presiding judge Chifua Maumela over procedure. Fill me in whether what is the position with those heads. Now you want me to listen to him on top of something that is outstanding. What kind of proceedings do you want us to run? I still reiterate that I think this is a protocol and the right protocol because the matter belongs to the parties, to the state and the accused, not to the court. The court has to listen what the parties have agreed upon. No. There is agreement. The court has to direct these proceedings. You cannot, I cannot hear from the two of you. Uh, I have to direct my proceedings the way I know proceedings should run. And you cannot tell me how I should, proceed, uh, I should direct those proceedings. And I have told you, I need an explanation. I don't want a full explanation. I want to be told what is the position about the heads I expected, which I don't have on my table. As confirmed by advocate for himself when he was on the floor just a few minutes ago, the issue of jurisdiction has been abandoned. And my Lord will recall that would have been the main reason why we would reconvene today or well, part of the reason why we would convene um, today i submit and i request this honorable court not to entertain any application today the purpose for today's court sitting was to deal with the issue of jurisdiction Instead, Tifo brought a letter in which accused number three Mtobi Simnube alleged inhumane conditions at the prison where he is incarcerated. He has suffered enough. Shortly after, Tifo dropped a bombshell. The reason your lordship, I can no longer be able to be in court and face you. There are serious allegations here, whereby you are accused number one. Um, before I can even accept the case of 636 to represent the accused one to four, there has been harassment that I should not be part of this case. From the police, from the NPA. I came into this case knowing what will be the consequence. On the 28th of April, when I was arrested before your court, uh, Your Lordship, that was a plan. And the plan was hatched in the office of the president, the number one office of the number one in the country. That. I am a problematic advocate. I am interfering with a plan that has been hatched that my client should take the responsibility of the murder of Senzo Mewa. Despite the fact that they were innocent. Leaving the instructing attorney Titi Tobani at the helm for those accused, at least at that time. May I be excused? Well excused. The, 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 the advocate Tepo, you derobe once you are out of the court. You don't derobe here before me. Apologies, apologies.
This certainly does throw this particular case in limbo. He says he believes uh, that uh, the judge in this particular matter has not treated him fairly. Well, we certainly saw the exchange of words between uh, Judge uh, uh, Chifo Maumela this morning and uh, Advocate Malise Latifo. Recall that today what was scheduled to happen inside court was that uh, he was due to uh, argue uh, an application regarding jurisdiction of this particular matter and jurisdiction which Advocate Malise Latifo felt that this particular court could not uh, uh, hear or try this particular matter because uh, the crime scene itself had taken place uh, at um, uh, in Fort Loris um, on the East Rand. Chris Alda Lewis, SABC News in Johannesburg.